In the moment that you think it can't get any worse, it can't get any bigger, it can't get any darker, it does. Ben is the only guy on the boat that understands that since we had 60% of the boat and now we've got 50% of the boat, pretty soon we're gonna have 40% and everybody on board the boat is going to die if they don't abandon ship. Ben knows the only possible way of getting his family off the boat is in the life raft, but nothing is safe from the endless waves. The life raft fell over and flipped over. The life raft is trapped in a tangle of wreckage. The family of six is now stranded on a sinking boat in the middle of the Pacific Ocean with no means of escape. In the moment that you think it can't get any worse, it can't get any bigger, it can't get any darker, it does. breaking up so badly. We were pretty much in the last usable, safe spot of that boat. That's when I realized there was no way we could stay there. The risk was too great. I decided that we had to leave the boat. Seven hours after they crashed, the tide around them begins to ebb, exposing a tiny outcrop of rock about 100 feet away. It's a possible escape route. But his dad is so badly injured, even the smallest journey is impossible. I know that, that there is no way to get me off of the boat to the reef alive. I, wouldn't, I would not survive that trip. It's down to you now, son. It's a terrible decision for a 16-year-old to make. But Ben knows he has no option. He must leave his dying father behind on the sinking boat in order to save the rest of his family. Ben is on his knees and he's crying, asking me to forgive him. because he sees a parting of the ways between myself and him. Sorry, Dad. When you're basically telling him goodbye, it was pretty tough to tell him that You don't ever really think your dad's gonna die. 12 hours ago, he was dad, you know, just running around doing stuff on the boat. So it was very, it was very difficult. I understand completely what's going on. I was not concerned about myself. If there was no way to get me in, well, that was that. Now, as head of the family, 
Ben is faced with getting the three young children off the boat and across the reef to the tiny outcrop of dry rock. As soon as the wave broke and started to recede, that's why I jumped off the boat. The reef is so sharp, the little coral spikes would go right through my sandals. I had coral cutting my feet every time I took a step. They're cutting up their legs every which way. Oh, you have the waves breaking on our legs, and our legs are getting absolutely cut up. At that point, I gave my brother the little emergency beacon. Hold this, keep tight, yeah. I told him, Jack, do not let go of this. This is our only way anyone can possibly find us. You've got to get off the boat now, too. You've got to get off the boat. Alone on the boat, John is now in the final stages of life. And he begins to give up. There was no possibility of saving me out there. And I don't have any hopes whatsoever of being rescued. This little piece of boat that I'm on is going to just slide off the edge of the reef, and I am going to sink a mile down to the bottom of the ocean. But the thought of watching John die alone on the boat haunts Ben and his mom. If we don't get him off the boat, he's, he doesn't have a chance. He doesn't have a chance. I have to get him off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> 